Welcome to Apathetic Weekend Update. I'm your host, guy who leaves his accidental likes while browsing super old pictures of people because the damage is already done. Our top story tonight, scientists announced that a tapeworm with cancer was able to successfully transfer its cancer cells to the host. But enough about Donald Trump in the mainstream media, we have other stories to cover. Moving on, Uber is teaching drivers in Egypt how not to sexually harass women. Meanwhile, they're also teaching women to maybe not Uber in Egypt just yet. Ugh, just noticed I forgot to clip one nail. I think this might be my body telling me it wants a coke habit. In response to Quentin Tarantino decrying police violence, the head of the NYPD police union threatened the director with a quote-unquote surprise. Meaning, uh, they're probably bigger Shyamalan fans. Which makes sense, because their legacy is being brought down by not sticking to the source material and mishandling black people. This week it was revealed the U.S. spent $43 million on a single gas station in Afghanistan. Uh, but to be fair, they do have the flavor of Slurpee you like. Hey, do people actually have favorite foods? Because like every time I'm ever asked, I'm always like, damn, I don't even have it narrowed down to a top five. Thought I would by now. In his new book, former, I assume, crypt keeper, George H.W. Bush criticized his son's administration, but was nowhere near as biting as the words he had for his other son, Jeb, which were none. In fact, he didn't even acknowledge he had another son. This week, the Mormon Church of Latter-day Saints announced they would no longer be accepting children of gay parents making this the biggest blow to the LGBT community since being rejected from faded pale flag stores and inferior decorating schools. Check it out. Bob Rock Simulator. Moving on, thanks to Lucas Arts, a terminally ill child was able to get a personal advanced screening of Star Wars Episode Seven. After hearing about the story, the studio behind Alvin and the Chipmunks, Road Chip, opening the same day, offered an advanced screening of their movie, too. To which the child said, Nah, I'm good. I think I'm actually going to be a healthy person this time. Definitely not Jewish news. It was revealed that the wrinkle cream Oprah uses and has been endorsing actually utilizes human foreskin. If only there were signs. There was a sale. That's it for your apathetic weekend update. If you're a fan of my self-esteem and would like to see me carry myself as a confident person one day, uh, please like, comment below, share, maybe even subscribe. Uh, I've been your host, guy who's forgot your name but feels he's known you too long to ask for it again. Good night. I'm gonna get diabetes. <sighs>